her face and instantly knew that she's going to be a star. She's humble, she's beautiful, she's grounded, and she's a powerhouse of talent. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the woman of the hour, Sara Ali Khan. Thank you so much. That's a lovely introduction. And from Pink Villa, which I stalk <laughs> every day, that's like amazing. But Thank literally, you. you are the woman of the hour. Everyone, I mean, we knew you're going to be big because, like I told you earlier, that you have this 90s glam, which is so like it's missing right now. And you just. You just exploded, like how? Thank you so much. 7.25 crores on an opening day by a newcomer. It's insane. <sighs> Thank you. I mean, it's, it's overwhelming. It really, truly is. Um, but I, I can't claim all of it on my own. I mean, it's been, it's, a, it's Gattusa, it's me, it's Sushant, it's all of us. But it's very overwhelming nonetheless. <laughs> Thank you. You know, Kedarnath had its own, like, like a ride. And you have finally arrived. And how? Like, it's the complete like the star born so how does it feel i know it's overwhelming it is it is um and you're right you know honestly if i'm being real with you it has been a very intense journey it has had its ups and downs and so finally now you know it's out there and i think people are liking what they're seeing and they're appreciating my work and that's of course appreciated and it's humbling and gratifying and but overwhelming more than anything you know it's just released yesterday and i'm also promoting simba i'm dubbing for simba I'm promoting Kedarnath still. So the only time I really get to internalize what's going on is moments like this, which is why everybody's like, why are you so loving promotions? And I'm like, how can I not? Like, it's all sinking in, you know? My film is out there and it's amazing. So you know what? Usually people think that uh, the time you spend doing a movie is the time that you put your hard work. But what I've noticed is that you wanted to be an actor since forever. So maybe you're putting in that effort since that time. So Of course. You know, you know. I mean, it's been a dream since I ever since I can remember. But I think living a dream and having a dream are very different. So yeah, of course it was a dream. But then you realize, you know, when you're on set, like whether it's shooting for Aak Mare or Sweetheart, hmm. it's not just fun and games. You know, there's hair, yes. there's makeup. It's hectic. There's clothes. It's it's it's, it's hectic. Work, yeah. You know, even scenes, it's the same thing. So I think being on set, you actually realize that it's not exactly what you dreamt of. It's better, but it's also hectic. So I just want to know, was that girl crying to her brother saying that I want to be an actor happy, you know? She is happy. She is happy. She was happy before yesterday. It's weird to talk about yourself in the third person. <laughs> but I'm weird, so it's fine. But really, it, it, it is nice. It's lovely. So it's usually said uh, that what happens, happens for good. And look, I mean, how many actors dream of getting two releases within three weeks? So you are one of the most blessed souls. So I, I mean, you know, what do you take away from it? Like, how is it, the I whole mean, shift? It's amazing. And you, I feel blessed and I feel humbled and I feel, you know, I just feel a lot of gratitude. And now I realize that especially, you know, with the more you're given, the more you have to give back. And I know that I'm blessed. I know that I've been given a lot. So now, you know, with Kedarnath, with the reviews, with the response that I'm getting, I think that, you know, I've done well for myself. And going forward, there just needs to be more hard work, more passion, more determination, because I just need to keep going higher and higher from here. And finally, what is it that you take away from Maku? Because she is the first ever person you lived who's not Sara Ali Khan. So Everything. I think that I, she'll never leave me. I think that she is a go-getter. I think she's extremely perseverant. I think she's a strong girl. And I'll take all that away from her. Um, but the life that she lives is not the same as the life that I lived, you know, whether it's, you know, the turmoil with the family, whether it's the intense love story that she's lived, the loss that she faces. So while I learn a lot from her, there's also an element of appreciation for our life, you know. Things go down that are not positive. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody should just take a moment out there to just be happy and appreciate what one has. So you cannot meet each one of your fans. Like there are mm -hmm. 1.3 billion people who oh completely, God. I think, love you, adore you overnight. So what is that one message to your fans? Everyone who's just raving about you. Thank you. Um, I really, really thank you because it's very humbling and it's very comforting to get the response that I've gotten because that is at the end of the day, I mean, one, I, I, I'm a selfish person. I work for myself. I work because I love my job. But I can't pretend that hearing the things that one hears doesn't make me just so thoroughly happy and so thoroughly grateful. And I promise you, going forward, there's just better work, 
harder work, more determination coming your way. If given the opportunity, inshallah, I'll just keep just doing better than this. Oh my God. So you've been smiling throughout everything. I can't stop. Yeah. And we only hope, wish and pray that the smile just gets uh, deeper and deeper. Thank with you it. so much. Thank you so much, Sara. Pink will, I love you. And uh, I love we're, so, we're so happy to have you. Thank you. Thank you so much.